welcome you to the Distinguished Lecture Series presentation of Professor Richard Dawkins. I'd like to start by pointing out that the Union Theater here holds 1,300 people, and as you can see, we've filled it to the rafters. So that's really great. Next, I'd like to thank our co-sponsors for the evening. They include the UW Philosophy Department, the UW Zoology Department, the UW Evolution Initiative, the UW Bookstore, UW Housing, Chadbourne Residential College, The Onion, WSUM Radio, and last but certainly not least, the Freedom From Religion Foundation. The Distinguished Lecture Series hosts many lectures here throughout the year. Our next lecture will be uh, Reza Aslan and Gideon Yego. They're going to be discussing Middle Eastern politics, and that will be here in the Union on March 25th. After the lecture, uh, nomination committee Distinguished Lecture Series uh, members are going to be collecting any nomination forms that you haven't managed to turn in yet. So look for them out in the uh, lobby, and they'll be collecting those. Uh, we really appreciate all the help you can give us in nominating lectures for next year. Next, I'd like to point out that there will be an open book signing in the In Wisconsin room here in the Union following the lecture. So if you don't have a chance to ask Professor Dawkins any questions you'd like to or get your book signed, that's where you can do it following the lecture. Finally, I'd like to ask that if any of you feel you have something important to add to the conversation and would like to interrupt tonight's lecture, please don't. <laughs> We've asked our honored guest here this evening so that we can hear what he has to say. Our introducer tonight is a professor of molecular biology and genetics here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He's authored several books, including The Making of the Fittest, and he was recently elected to the National Academy of Science. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Sean Carroll. Thank you, Kyle. Good evening, everybody. I just want to emphasize as a faculty member here, this is a completely student-run organization, and I think they deserve a round of applause. Now, you, know, you hear these words a lot from an introducer, but I really mean it. It is truly an honor to introduce tonight's speaker, Dr. Richard Dawkins. It's a rare treat to welcome someone who's inspired so many scientists and to have the opportunity to acknowledge their great body of work. Tonight I get to do both. The selfish gene, the extended phenotype, the blind watchmaker, river out of Eden, climbing Mount Improbable, unweaving the rainbow, the ancestor's tale. Just for fun, I don't know if you can see it from backstage. Raise your hand if you've read one or more of these books. Oh, Richard, you'd like to see this. <laughs> I don't know if that's protocol, but that was worth it. Each of these books displays Professor Dawkins' exceptional literary craftsmanship, something recognized by the entire world of writers, not just scientists, and his great talent for illuminating and explaining the processes of evolution and of science itself. They've earned him a large worldwide following and many honors, including election as a fellow of both the Royal Society and the Royal Society of Literature, the Faraday Award, the Cosmos International Prize, the Shakespeare Prize, and the Lewis Thomas Prize. His unique standing as a communicator of science has also earned him a unique chair at the University of Oxford, Oxford where he's currently the Charles Simony Professor of the Public Understanding of Science. Having enriched so many audiences with the importance and majesty of Darwin's brilliant ideas, most recently Dr. Dawkins has turned his attention to a less controversial area <laughs> of religion. His newest book, The God Delusion, deals with that elephant in the living room of science and reason. It's a runaway bestseller with more than one million copies sold in English alone. And this landmark challenge to all religions is now being published in some 30 languages. 
I might also add it was named the best book of the year by Madison's own Capital Times. Just want to let Dr. Dawkins know we have taste. Um, <laughs> Now, journalists and introducers are often tempted to draw comparisons between influential thinkers, and uh, I could offer many names that I think would flatter our guest, but I decided that's not fitting. I think the best description of Richard Dawkins is Richard Dawkins. He has a unique voice and talent, and the breadth and power of his work over the past 30 years will be the yardstick by which others are measured. Um, one crucial message in The God Delusion does resonate with that of many great thinkers over the years. Just to mention, name drop a couple, I would say Thomas Huxley and Carl Sagan. It's a message perhaps put best by one of Huxley's students, the writer H.G. Wells, who remarked that, quote, history is a race between education and catastrophe. The God Delusion offers a critical element of a very necessary education. Now perhaps you might prefer, rather than those words of H.G. Wells, the words of two modern philosophers you know as Penn and Teller, who put it this way, quote, if this book doesn't change the world, we're all screwed. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Richard Dawkins.